warrior, warrior, listen to me. A woman asked me to look out for one like you. She waits in the center of the city, this city, Chang'an. But have you heard the news? Chaos runs wild in the streets. The great emperor's terracotta soldiers have come to life. They have left the mausoleum and are terrorizing the city. The woman asked if I had seen a foreign warrior and gave me gold to watch for you. Go into the city. She waits for you. We are working hard to take back Chang'an, but we have more problems than just the monsters. Somehow the great emperor's clay soldiers have come to life. The mausoleum where they were buried is overrun. It is a terrible development. The monsters were giving us enough trouble. The terracotta soldiers aren't worse than the monsters. No, the problem is our guards fear them. They think somehow it's the spirit of the great emperor. Nonsense. I guess I shouldn't blame them. These times would make even the wise man superstitious. Hail, champion. I only just arrived by boat back in my own land once again. Word has spread that you have traveled the whole length of the Silk Road, pursuing the Talkin. The Talkin arrived in this city not long ago but now seems to have mysteriously vanished. Many of our order are out looking for him, but he has yet to be found. Our scholars have been studying our most ancient scrolls to find out why the Telking came here. It seems that the last Titan defeated in the Great War was not banished by the gods with his brethren, but was imprisoned here on Earth. And the texts say he is here in this region, our greatest fear is that the Telkin has come to free him. If we are to have any chance of stopping the Telkin, you must journey to the mystical Jade Palace and speak with the Yellow Emperor. If he can be found, he will know the whereabouts of this Titan. Our scholars found passages of an epic poem that describe the Jade Palace as being on a white mountain. 
They believe the White Mountain is Mount Shiyun, located to the west beyond the Jinghe Valley. It is said only the most worthy may visit the palace. Good luck. Emperor Huang Ti, the Yellow Emperor, was a great Chinese hero and scholar. After performing many great deeds, he went to live in his Jade Palace, which we think is high on Shi Yun Mountain, across the Jinghe Valley. There, he long contemplated life and found the secret to immortality. Since then, he has spent his endless days in contemplation of the nature of the universe. It is said that he made his wisdom like his palace, available for all who are worthy to find it. of great woe to the living. And so it is we should hear about Nuwa, the mother of all mortals. Of clay she made us, after she made all the animals to fill the world so it would not be empty. And then, when the great monster Gong Gong broke the pillar that held the heavens aloft, it was Nuwa who set it right. When the four directions were scattered, she returned north to north, and south the other way where it belongs. Her husband was Fuji, who taught mortals to be civilized and many other useful things. Why carry what you can't put down? Sun and wind are your back, not in your eyes. Oh, uh, what's that? A pleasant day then. A caravan is like memory uh, that never forgets. The great master Confucius taught us that the ritual and virtue would perfect the world. But what good are they when rough beasts burn our houses and storm our walls? It is said our highest aim is to create virtue and harmony throughout the world. But such thoughts seem like a baby bird trapped in a raptor's jaws. Fine arms, firm armor, fit for the Emperor's guard. See if what suits you.
Johnny Farr. Ah, warrior. What will become of our world? What will happen to us when the monsters rule it? True, there is the army. At first, they marched in unison against the monsters. But then, in the chaos, they were scattered. Harmony and order are broken. Hope is lost. The transfer of knowledge bears a high price. May destiny teach you greatness. Sorry, these gates closed. There are too many monsters on the other side. We cannot open the gate. It is our last line of defense.
ancient evil corrupted my terracotta warriors. You put this spirit to rest. Those who adhere to duty and righteousness shall be rewarded. Warrior, an ancient evil corrupted... Hail, champion. I own it. You've killed all the clay warriors in the city. Our men were foolish to fear some curse. Of course, an outsider wouldn't have such superstitions. You have earned your reward. The mausoleum. You went in there. You stopped this spirit who brought the clay men to life. By our ancestors, I did not think 100 men could make it through there. Do not carry your house on your shoulders. So long. The Great Master Confucius told me. Sorry, this gate's closed.
Once I was a powerful general, caught up in the illusion of life, then I was disgraced by my failure to stop the monsters. I resolved to come here to reflect upon my own nature, so I could truly learn theirs. Having no need for weapons or armor, I threw all I had deep into a cave near here. Mystery and knowledge are born of the same source. Darkness. Darkness is born of darkness, the mother of all things.